Hi friends, welcome to my channel PLSI Gyan. Today we will see what is FIFO or FIFO. So friends, if you are watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. You will get all the stuffs related to PLSI. So without wasting the time, let's get started. What is FIFO or FIFO? So FIFO is a special type of buffer. The name stands for first in, first out. The data which is written into the buffer comes out first. It is useful for synchronization and handshaking mechanism between the models. Friends, FIFO is also similar to RAM. But the difference between FIFO and RAM is uh, in RAM, you can randomly write the data to any location and you can read the data from any location. Whereas in a FIFO, you have to follow a sequence. The data which is entering into the FIFO will be read first. So this is the difference. And also, uh, like uh, it is like a queue. In a queue, what happens? The person who is standing first will get the ticket first. So similarly, the data which is written into the FIFO first is taken out or read out of the FIFO first. So uh, let's move to the next part of the video. That is FIFO depth and width. What is called the depth of the FIFO or width of the FIFO? The number of slots or rows in a FIFO is called the depth of the FIFO. If you are having a FIFO with different rows, then that is nothing but the depth of the FIFO. The number of bits that can be stored in each slot or row is called the width of the FIFO. To make it more clear, we will see this figure. You can see here, this is the depth. These are the nothing but the address locations which we have you know, this FIFO. So it is from 0 to 7. So 8, 8 is the depth. And what is the width? Width is 0 to 5. So 6 is the width, right? So each memory location can write up to 6 bits. So the depth is nothing but the number of rows the FIFO is having and how much data it can be stored in each slot is nothing but the width of the FIFO. Then basically we have two types of FIFOs. The first one is synchronous FIFO and the other one is asynchronous FIFO. So what is the difference between these two? The synchronous FIFO, in uh, synchronous FIFO what happens is the read data and the write. The read and the write operations are using the same clock. They are using the same clock. So you don't have separate clocks for read and write operation. A single clock is present which is used for both the read as well as write operation. Whereas in asynchronous FIFO, you have the read data, the read and the write operation does not use the same clock. They have different clock frequencies. So the read operation uses a different clock and the write operation uses a different clock. So this is the main difference between a synchronous and asynchronous FIFO. So you can see the simple structure of a synchronous FIFO. You can see here we have a write enable. How can I say that this is a synchronous FIFO is because I'm using here a single clock. So single clock is present. So we can easily uh, see that it is a synchronous FIFO. So write enable signal and we have a read enable signal. This is write data. This is read data. This is the reset signal. So what happens is whenever the write enable signal is asserted or enabled that time, the read data is written into the particular memory location, which is pointed by the pointers. So here, this is the basic structure where the pointers are not shown, but generally the pointer will point to the location where the data is to be written. And similarly, whenever the read signal, read enable signal is enabled or asserted at that time, what will happen is the read data is taken out from the FIFO pointing the read pointer. Whatever the read pointer is pointing the memory location, from that your data is taken. If you have entirely written all the rows in the FIFO, then it is full. If nothing is written in the FIFO, then it is empty. So this is a basic understanding of the FIFO. 
and if you are talking about the asynchronous FIFO, where we can use. So basically, the asynchronous FIFO is used when you are working with two different frequencies. So suppose this is a module X, which is working at a high frequency, and we have another module Y, which is working at low frequency. So module X is suppose writing the data, and module Y is reading the data. So this is suppose at 200 megahertz, and this is at 100 megahertz. So there are the chances that the data received by X will not be received properly by Y because they are working at different frequencies. So the data, some data may be lost, right? Because it is working at 200 megahertz and this is working at 100 megahertz. So we can say that 100 megahertz or the 100 num mega number of bits can be uh, lost during this transaction. So to avoid that, we are using a FIFO in between these two. So which is temporarily storing the data and then it is transferring to the module Y. So this is a simple example of asynchronous FIFO. Friends, in many interviews, you will get uh, the patients like calculate the depth of the FIFO and you will be given the um, frequencies of the different modules. So in our uh, next video, I will try to explain that concept of calculating the depth of the FIFO or FIFO. So friends, thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe with your friends. Thank you.